Okay, you are now tuned in to The Rebound by Amon Sylvester. Not just a game, but a lifestyle. Everything basketball from high school to college to the pros. Today, we have a very special video. I'm going to give you a little background on myself and my basketball career. So, here it is. <clears throat> I started playing basketball at eight years old with some of the neighborhood kids, you know. Um, one of my friends had a hoop in his driveway and him and his brothers used to play every day. And I used to go out there and hoop with them. And that's what really started me playing basketball, playing with kids older than me. And, you know, having to fight for everything, you know. Um, coming from New York, it's all about hustle and, and aggressiveness. So that's where I learned to hustle and be aggressive. I watched my first basketball game at the same age of eight years old. My dad took me to New Jersey to see the Nets play the Cavaliers when LeBron James was on the Cavaliers. And um, that really, like, made me fall in love with the game. Like, seeing LeBron James play for the first time, my first ever basketball game, I seen LeBron James play. And that really just made it click in my head, like, wow, this is what I love to do. And as well to watch this is something that I would want to do for the rest of my life, you know. So I played it basketball at elementary school, um, PS132. Uh, I played fourth grade and fifth grade. And we played a bunch of the schools within the city. And it was fun. You feel me? I feel like, I, if I remember correctly, I was the second leading scorer in fourth grade and fifth grade on that team. Um, then we go on to middle school, Eagle Academy. I played in the public local league um, in seventh grade. That's when I first got my um, my first ever, like most influential coach, Coach Allen, rest in peace. Um, he's the one that really transitioned me into becoming a better basketball player, a better student, a better person, you know, because basketball is, comes with a whole bunch of life lessons and it really helps you to become a better person overall. Um, so, like I said, we played in middle school, seventh grade. That's when I was awarded um, all league second team. Um, I was also awarded all league academic first team because, you know, grades and, and sports are equally as important. And that's something that I was taught by my coach, Coach Allen. He really stressed that to me. He was like, yo, when you get ready to go to college, scouts and all of them are going to really – look for your grades just as much as how good you are on the court. So that's something that I always kept in mind. Um, in eighth grade, I was awarded all academic first team and scholar athlete by my team. Um, and like I said, I always felt academics were so, so important and just as important as what you do on the court and how you, how you carry yourself as a person is the most important thing, honestly, when it comes to basketball. Like I said, we learned a whole bunch of life lessons with playing basketball, playing on the team. And the thing that Coach Allen really stressed to me is that, you know, you want to be a good person, not just a good basketball player. So come to high school, in high school we were starting out, we were, we were a starter school at Eagle Academy, so we weren't in the public school league as of yet. So we had to make our own schedule. And we played a whole bunch of different teams on the island, in the city, and we play teams like Lujai, which is a great team in Long Island. They have a whole bunch of the top basketball players on the island who I go to that school. We played against Boys and Girls High School in Brooklyn, which is a big school in Brooklyn. And I had good performances against those two teams, so that really boosted my confidence. And against Lujai, I think I had like 13 points as a freshman. And that was that was tough for me. I was, I was happy about that. And then we played Boys and Girls High School, and I think I had 20. And that made me realize that, yeah, like, I could really do this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it made me realize that, like, I have a chance at this. Like, for a fact. In 10th grade, we were able to be put in the developmental league for PSAL. That's a public school athletic league in the city in New York. So we was in the D League. And we had to start there because, again, we were a starter school. So we couldn't just get put into a regular league. We had to go up throughout and go to the D-League. So we started the D-League on the varsity level. And um, 
Yeah, at the varsity level, I was the second leading scorer on the team again. In 10th grade, as a sophomore playing varsity. Um, so, yeah, again, yeah, this is like a whole bunch of confidence boosts. Like, I really felt like, you know, there's something that I could do. And, like, I, I worked really hard. That's another thing, too. Like, a lot of things that people didn't see, like, off the court, like, I worked hard by myself on my own. Like, I was in the gym. I had gym memberships. Every weekend, I was shooting hundreds and hundreds of shots. I was just put up shots to my dad. Like, I really tried my hardest to work hard because I know that if I worked hard, it would always pay off. And this is a quote by Kevin Durant, my favorite player. He's like, hard work beats talent and talent fails to work hard. And I feel like I had talent and I worked hard, so that would put me at an advantage. In 11th grade, I started out the season well, but due to personal issues, I missed a chunk of the season from January to late February, early March. So yeah, I had some things going on. So I had to miss most of the season. And that took a toll on me. It took a toll on my averages. It took a toll on my schoolwork. Like, I was really down. And it messed up a lot of things for me. But in March, I was able to come back for our playoff game. And I scored 10 points, which was really good. And people honestly started to count me out due to my personal issues and things that I wasn't going to be able to come back and do what I did. And I'm glad that I was able to come back and really show that I can really still play this game. But after that, um, I was kind of in a slump. Like, you know, we got a, we have a new coaching staff for my senior year. I switched up everything. You feel what I'm saying? Like, this coach was focused on a different part of the game as opposed to, like, what my previous coach, Coach Allen, was. Like, how he paid attention to the game and how he focused the game. Like, this new coach, Coach Ford, had a different mentality and a different approach to what he wanted us to do on the basketball court. So, you know, I struggled heavily my senior season trying to bounce back and get back on my feet due to my personal issues. And that took a real toll on me for, like, most of the season, literally pretty much all of the season until playoff time. And that's when I was to regain, like, my full confidence in myself and play the way that I was used to playing. So our first playoff game, I had 29 points. And, yeah, that was the start of the playoffs when I started to refine my confidence. And after that, like all of our programs after that, I had pretty good performances to follow up. But um, we lost in the playoffs my senior year to the team that um, made it to the final four. And then they lost to the team that won the whole thing. So that was very disappointing for me because I wanted to win the championship in high school. And I really feel like if we would have won the championship, I would have had a different outcome with what school I would have went to for college and all things of that nature. I probably would have been a different basketball player if we would have been championship. And, you know, even though we lost, though, like, based on my performances, I feel like I could still continue to play basketball at a high level. And that even at the college level, I knew I would be able to play basketball, you know, and continue to make an impact on a team. And that's where I really wanted to focus my, my everything on, like, trying to play college basketball. So fast forward. I came to New Haven, and there weren't any trials my first year. And my second year, I tried out, but nobody was selected from the tryouts, so I couldn't do nothing about that. Um, then my third year, I took a year off to deal with more personal issues that was going on in my life. And, yeah, but now I'm back again, and I'm looking forward to having the chance to possibly walk on this year and make an impact on the team. And that's all that I really want to do, like, I know that I really love the game of basketball and I know that I can play this game at a high level. So I just want to be able to be given the chance because I know that if I'm given a chance, excuse me, I can definitely soar and possibly even go overseas and play basketball, which is my dream right now. So, yeah, that's, that's my dream for basketball is to go overseas and play. As long as it's professional basketball, I know that that's what I want to do and that's what I can play. And to fall back on, obviously, I'm a communications major. So here at the New University of New Haven, I like broadcasting. I want to be on TV. I want to be a sports broadcaster like Kenny, Shaq, all those guys that are on TV when the games are on. Yeah, that, that's, that's what I want to do in my life. So I want to be a basketball player. And I want to be a sports broadcaster. And um, yeah, that was that. So in terms of like, other stuff that I asked people before, like, 
my favorite player all time, I would say all time is a team. Um, Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson, because I love how they play. Um, my favorite player right now is Kevin Durant, because I idolize him. Like, I look up to him. I want my game to be modeled after him. I love Kobe. I love LeBron. I like Kyrie Irving, Steph Curry, James Harden. I like those guys. They really made basketball fun for me. And, you know, I like to have fun, most importantly. And, yeah, like, that's why I love basketball so much because it's, it allows me to have fun, make people better, gain relationships. And, like, I like to win. Like, I'm very competitive. So anything I do, I like to win. Not even just basketball. Anything I do, I'm competitive. I like to win. I go hard no matter what. That's just what's built in me, you know? So, yeah, um, that's, that's what that is. That's a little bit of my personal background. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's all for right now. Make sure you tune into The Rebound. Giving you more episodes coming soon and more talks to me and a whole bunch of my friends. Thank you.